don't have to be a rocket scientist <laughs> to know the importance of a good education. But for many kids and adults, math can be downright scary. Olympia LaPointe is the author of Mathophobia, how you can overcome your fears and become a rocket scientist. You know, and she would know because she is a rocket yes. scientist. Thank you so much for joining us, Olympia. It's great to have you here. Thank you, Lucy. All right, so rocket scientist, meaning you actually work on rockets and engines and things that go into space? Yes, yes. I helped build the space shuttle main engine, and that was the engine that was in the space shuttle. Uh, Discovery, Endeavor, the specials that flew out to outer space, that's what my specialty was. Slightly a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> kind of a big deal. Good, good line on the resume. Yeah. Talk to us about mathophobia. I think a lot of us, I, I know me personally, I struggled with math. Um, mm -hmm. It's very common. What is it exactly? How would you define it? Well, you're not alone. Uh, what I've noticed is that 9 out of 10 Americans struggle with mathophobia. And what mathophobia is, it's a severe fear in the brain, in the reptilian part of the brain, that causes someone to freeze up when they see math or anything related to calculation. So it's that actual, would be me, yeah, it's an 100%. It's an actual diagnosis, yes. though. All yes, right. it's a scientific discovery. And so I, when I found this out, and then when I saw that I had it, I had to overcome that. And so I was determined to help other people do the same thing, and so that's why I wrote the so book. So you, you were a kid when you realized, I've got issues here. Yeah, Okay, yeah. so, so how, how do you, as a parent, as a child, how do you overcome something that, that so, in, you know, really affects your brain? Um, there's actually a three-step process to overcoming mathophobia. And the first step is knowing where it comes from. There's typically a root source, uh, some period of time that it gets embedded into the student. And it usually comes from a parent a teacher or a school system and so after someone knows the route then that becomes the second step which is knowing how to retrain and reprogram your brain to have different thoughts next is taking action steps so you can literally reprogram the frontal part of your brain that's responsible for the math and calculations part and so by taking specific action steps someone can then in turn reformat and reprogram and rebuild the neurons in their frontal brain lobes that which allows math education. So, so what you're saying is there's a cure for this. Yes. We're, we're not stuck with it. Yes. And, and, that, and that reprogramming, that how long does that take for that, somebody to be cured of mathophobia? Well, it depends on the person. Some, person, some people uh, have a slight mathophobia, so it may just take them a couple of days. Other people are more severe, so it may take them up to eight weeks. You know, you look at what's going on in our schools, though, mm -hmm. and, and math, it's one of these things that a lot of us just hit a wall with, even our teachers. Well, yeah. Um, what I've noticed is that teachers themselves sometimes struggle with mathematics. Uh, most of the teachers that are in the school districts don't have a math degree themselves, so sometimes they struggle with trying to show the information to the students. And so um, we're hoping that there will be a push for people to understand what mathophobia is so the teacher themselves can not only overcome their own mathophobia, but then help the other students overcome theirs and as well as stop it before it happens. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Olympia LaPointe, Mathophobia. Is, is I'm looking at the book right here. It's very cool. All right. We very much appreciate it. And, man, I think Whit and I, we need to dive into this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I see math. I freeze up.